You kids ready to go to space? Not quite, but, you know, it's, it's no Paper Mario 1000 Year Door, but... Let's fucking go. Yup. Oh, can't forget the mo- you know. Uh, let's try to- let's try to think the quote. Well, it's, it's about the wonderful 100, but we can't forget the most important one of all. You. I'm implying that Uka controls Wonderful 101. That is the yeah, that's what I'm putting out there. I would have made that joke even if a remaster hadn't come out. Yep. Nice bobbing up and down. Cool. Welcome. To the Cathedral of the Deep. Not quite. Look at that fucking sick dragon. You technically it's a wyvern? I, who gives a fuck? <laughs> if it's Dark Souls, I'll care because there's a big difference, um, well, in terms of how they look anyway, but... Yeah, well, it's a story difference. I can't even, even fucking climb out the water, I gotta wait here. Like fucking Knuckles. No diving, diving in aquatic mine today. Oh. So you're seeing the number one feature of his dungeon. Annoying ass wind. Also there's these. So, um, before I started, well, before I hit record, the game was started, obviously, I went, what am I going to need? Looked at these three items and went, yeah, that'll about do it. I'm a little low on normal bombs, but, like, I don't think they're... I don't think you even really have to use no normal bombs. Oh, well, there's 20 in case. Bomb arrows are useful for some parts. I don't think there's much you have to blow up, but I could be misremembering. So we can just go to the dungeon if we want, but, um, but we are in it, but... Again, does like a nice little hub world thing. Fuck you. Get out of here, you. Yeah, this dungeon reuses a lot of early game enemies, which is interesting. It's not bad. I'm not gonna applaud it for it either, but it's it's alright. There's more of you widows. Look at those cannons. Oh, for Uku Jr. Uh-huh. Yep, for hitch for hijacking my cannon, yeah. I don't know if rel uh, no, reliable is the right word. I guess. Yeah, just soak it all in, that amazing character model. I mean, it is well done, but like... Mm-hmm. Cheers, thank you. Thank you for putting up with my uh, lack of... Good talking capacity. I do the thing where I talk and it is good. I am missing a single bomb. I'm not going to pay 90. I was tempted just to clear out room. That's annoying. I've got one of my arms resting on the desk because I have to sit I, I have to sit diagonally when I do this. I have my TV facing me diagonally. I have the computer to my left. I'm also technically diagonal. Um, and as a consequence, one of the cats was a little too happy to play. Scratched my arm a few times, so um, there's a bit of there's a bit of a sting going on, but it's not actually that bad. I'll live. Don't worry. Yeah, don't worry. I'm fine. I'm fine. What was it like? When was that earthquake in Japan? I know that's very specific. But a few years ago, I don't know if this is actually true, but there was that thing about, um, nope, nice try, idiot. There's that thing about, like, uh, you know, the Platinum Studios. Kamiya's like, everyone is okay, everyone's safe. And then, oh yeah, nice intro, there we go. And, um, then Kojima had a tweet in contrast, just saying, I am okay. Don't know how true that is, but if so, that's pretty fucking funny. Should I research that? Yeah. 
am I going to? I'm not going to lie to you. So I'm just going to not answer properly. Instead, I'll use this. Fly, my pretty, fly! Hey, shitlord. Wow, the camera's stiff. Oh, <laughs> stiff. D <laughs> wood chicken. Fuck. Damn you, gyro. Seize the means of chicken production. Can we talk to them if we are a wolf? Well, I mean, te technically we can talk to them as human. But uh, they, they're not very chatty. I understand from a story perspective, but it always is kind of weird. It's like, oh, you turned it into an animal. You can understand other animals. Also, nice. Yep. Good form. Helmosaurus, is it? The Helmosaurus. Alright. So, as you can see, we have two paths. One is relatively fruitless, because we can't even really go there. There is this path, but you'll see why it's not a path. Oh, great. Gotta walk into the white loading screen. Yep. I mean, there's a chest up here. But Kakarok's starting to actually care about us, which is actually, you know, kind of cool. No? Okay. There's no chest. I'm thinking of something else. I don't know why I thought there was something there. There's a heart peach. You need to look up. Nah. I'm pretty sure there's not. Me mocking someone who's not watching this, because wouldn't... Well, as such, no one is watching this, because I'm recording it. So you know, but even then, I don't think many people will watch this, but if they do, cool, and if you are, thank you, you're appreciated. Now uh, back to me, me you know, fucking ruining this, up, oh. there we go, hey shitlord, practice your neutrals, get good with your footsies fucker, lord knows I'm not. Lord knows, I'm shit at my neutrals. Don't know why I went for that voice, so it's inherently a little, uh, stereotypical, in it? Mash. Mash, you some bitch. Made a mashing. Oh, there we go. Ah, yes, yes. Thank you for creating a path. I'm not sure why I'm Siegfried of Katarina, but I am. Hmm. 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 Ah, oh, yes. A bit of Esther soup. I appear to have missed chest. Hmm. Can you? Yeah, these cargo rocks aren't so docile. Dickhead. Get out of here, yo. Yeah, man. I don't know why Link's in New Yorker while talking to Kagarok, but yeah. I deal with Mr. Chest. This is a great start. Alright, there's something I missed. Already, wow, amazing. This is 10 minutes in. 10 minutes into the session, and I'm missing something. Fucking great. Hmm. The hell? Don't know. This is up. Yep. There we go. That's the thing. There we go. I think this is it. This is it. Yes. Perfect. Perfect. That was not what I meant to equip. That is what I meant to equip. Mash you son of a bitch. I don't know why I'm saying that so much, but... Yeah. Don't know if apophytic's the right way to describe me today, but... 
I mean, I'm putting in effort. <laughs> I want this to be decent. What? No way. What? Did they forget to add a wall, or has that always been like that? What the fuck? Was that in the Wii version? I, did I just never look? What the hell? Hold on, hold on. Can we see an enemy? No, that's just... Okay, that's that. Okay. Cool, um... Well... The game is falling apart. Oh, as you can see, P-hats. Quite handy. I will not be using the spinner for this. I will not be transforming into a wall. Which is incredibly underutilized in this dungeon. Fuck. It was all going so well. And then it didn't. I feel like I'm gonna default into the fucking framped voice. Which is just my shitty Plague of Gripes impersonation. Impression, whatever. A little bit of column A. Column B's there too. See, you can't even fucking make a Simpsons reference. With, like, energy. Yeah, I don't fucking know. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, rupees, nice. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Um, ooh, a chest. Can we get it? Well, it doesn't look like we can do it from... <gasps> oh my god. Yosh. Whenever I hear Yosh, well, Yosh, I uh, get PTSD style flashbacks to um, Eggman in the Chow Garden. Um, that's really it. That's the story. Um, I, I haven't got much. Chow's cool. Um, I already talked about, I don't remember which episode it was in, but I talked about how Sega is ignoring free money by not making a Chow um, Garden mobile game. I mean, I wouldn't play because it's mobile. I'd, I'd, you know, I'd pay money for a fully fledged game, but still, that's, that's free money. Also, Agarok agrees. Agarok represents their stock numbers going up. The bridge represents Sega not doing it. You see, it's a metaphor. It's like poetry, it rhymes. Agarok is a funnier character than we've ever had before. So, you know, if, if we get him working, well... Yeah. That's... yeah. That, that's the red letter media quota for the day. I mean, I could walk up to an Uka and ask what's wrong with its face, but that feels a little mean. And unnecessary. Because, um, why would I do that? Chicken person. Come on, be cool. Be respectful, be inclusive. I mean, unless there's some not-so-subtle sky racism. Mm. Um, Bioshock Infinite style. A game I have not played. <laughs> I've played a good chunk of one and two. Pretty fun. I played two first because my uh, one of my brothers bought a premium copy for the 360. That's pretty fun, actually. I didn't mind that at all. One definitely was better, I guess, but still, I think that's the consensus, right? But two, yeah, yeah pretty good. One, yeah, that's the one. Infinite. Um, mixed responses. This is embarrassing for both of us, isn't it? Actually, yes it is. Oh wow, you take three? Huh. My god. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. A helmet solver takes six arrows. I'm seeing double. Four crusties. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I was showing it off to demonstrate that's uh, that's what happens. You actually need to go over here and do this. <laughs> ah, yes. <laughs> How grossly incandescent. So 
Still closed, still closed. Got nothing to say, make Dark Souls references. No one has tried his JoJo references, but when you get a good JoJo reference that people don't know about, well, you know, you get Nani. A very generic response, in fact. While I fill for time figuring out what I do. I'm pretty sure it's this. That's for later. I was thinking I could get the switch. I mean, I did. I got a day one, but still. Uh, no regrets. No regrets. I did say to one of my mates, so Switch is awesome. Don't buy it yet. It's awesome. Just uh, wait. <laughs> Just wait. <laughs> you don't need it right now. Apparently I didn't either, because uh, I never beat Breath of the Wild, so um, checkmate me. No, I can't really, can I? Oh, fuck, what am I fi- Oh. Oh my god, I'm dumb. I'm so stupid. There, yeah, this will speed things up. I'll be honest, I didn't mean to, but I realized that's genius. I'll die faster. Then I realized that's not genius, because I start over here. God, I'm so clever, aren't I? Take that helmet sword, I'm smarter than you, apparently, jackass. I almost all made it, so... Yeah, no, what I should have done is this. Look how clever I am. Normally I would have used the hookshot to do that, but, um... I was like, yeah, I will use the bow. Old Bowie needs a use, alright? You're feeling a little uh, underloved. Even though I've used it, you know, the most out of anything, but maybe the claw shot. And even then, that kind of solidifies why the bow would feel underloved. But fuck you, bow. Boomerang's got no love for several dungeons. Why did you move? That looks very weird. Oh, arrows. That's, a, that's like the equivalent of a mimic, actually. A big danger trap. Did I just jump? Okay, good. I thought I'd just kind of jump without thinking about if there was one of those underneath. You fucker. You fuckers. You think you're gonna escape from me? <laughs> oh, I said shit. No doubt. Ah, oh, yes. The tile world. And like I was just talking about, the boomerang has not received love. It has received love now. Bask in the boomerang's greatness, chosen undead. Chosen link, yes, that's what I meant to say. Ha ha ha. Glorious. Fuck off. What the hell? That case just skyrocketed into the death box? Like the fucking. What do you call it again? Where, um, the death. Oh, not death wall, what do you call it? Kill box, kill box. Like Kilgore. From that game I've only played like two hours of. But it's sick as hell. I will die on the hill and say that is Mick Gordon's best work. I know I've said it before in this LP, I've said it before in Bloodborne, I'm pretty sure. Could have even. Oh, there he is. Could have even come up in uh, RE3. In Remake 3. Don't matter, it's true. But, well, it's the one that appeals to me. So, there you go. Here we go. There we go. I will say go with here or we or something again, I'm sure. Let's try to echo one. Holy shit, Lord. You're good. Yeah? What you got? What you got? Yeah? Do these damage are just knocked down? I forget. I feel like these don't damage. For some weird reason. I feel like this is not going to work. Yeah, no, this does not. However, I believe if we do this, the ancient technique of the bomb arrow, it is rather effective. It is rather effective. I 
It's not a tale the Jedi would tell you. I don't know where I'm going with this. Um, the power to make the camera freak out. Um, even to uh, fill for time while you climb a wall with a claw shot. Yes, indeed. It is called bullshit. When I can't think... With, well, no, sorry, let me try again. Where the, the, the trains of tree lands where I... When... Fuck. Where I can't think of what to say, so I'm just quoting things. So 90% of my content. That is LPs. Yeah, secret... Like, you can't hear it, but like, when I'm making those Astral Chain and DMC videos, yeah, I'm just... Yeah. Quoting things. Total meme lord. Yeah. Ugh. Fucking. Ugh. Oh, why do I even make that joke? I hate that phrase. See how original I am? I hate memes. Is that a meme in itself? Well, yes. Monsoon would debate that. What an exquisite meme. I say I hate memes while making quotes that are effectively memes. My intelligence knows no bounds. This chicken knows no limits. We are kin. We are the same, the chicken and I. But we are not the same as Brad, Chicken Heart Vickers. Even though he redeemed himself, he is still a chicken. And not the tasty kind. Oh, well. You're good. This is the guy who missed. I should do the economics on, like, well, I, I should do the cost value on all that. Oh, great, I need a chicken. Where could I acquire one? Like, gotta work out, like, for the cost ratio, really. What am I gaining? How much am I losing every time I miss? Well, camera's trying it again. That's the one problem when I'm playing, like, a bow or a crossbow run in a Souls game or something. I'd say a different kind of game, but that's really all I've done that in. Souls. Um, what a surprise. But, like, every time you miss with an expensive arrow, I just go... Mm, I cringe a little. That costed a hundred. I could have fired ten wooden arrows and missed with nine and it would have still been better. Fly! I did that thinking it wouldn't work. I probably could have cleared that. Arise, chicken, arise. See, I'm just, I'm just quoting things. And even then, I'm not even quoting the source, which is robots... Oh, no, wait, wait, no, what am I saying? A a um, fucking... It's Aquatine, isn't it? I think? I'm, I'm quoting it from Yu-Gi-Oh! Abridged. The Abridged movie, the first one. The one that's not the crossover. The one that is, well, ancient in internet terms. It's not like I'm freaking out over that and getting all, oh shit, I'm old. I'm not that old. And that was a while ago. I don't know if the kids would be, you know, up for that intelligent kind of humor of the earlier bridge series, which, you know. The essence of it was, haha, ha, gay, ha, 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 nah. Little Karibo always strove to do better. And he did. Guess Team 4 Star did too as well. Because they're their own little production company. The original Naruto Bridge was actually pretty good too. It's sad that kind of just died. I never found out what happened to that, but it sucks. Because I enjoyed that. Can't wait for this to start turning into Stop Talking About a Bridge series, old man. That was the past. Now it's all about TikTok and things I don't understand, so they're weird and scary. Fucking Grandpa Simpson was right. I mean, I'm playing this up, I'm leaning into it a little bit, but he was right. It will happen to you too. 
Did it happen to you too, though? Did it happen to Bono? I know tax evasion did. Ho! Oh. Oh, I like you too, though. That, that was Bono, right? Tax evasion. I hope so, because I just made a hell of an allegation if otherwise. Um, there's a lawsuit coming up. Um, it's not going to quite be Friendly Geordie, uh, <laughs> Friendly Geordie's Cross Clive Palmer, but, um, mm. at least all the proceeds will go to charity, right, Bono? At least there's that. The boots, the boot, ow. My intelligence knows no bounds. I play int builds because my brain is good. I mean, I've, I've played every fucking build in those games. Ooh, wonder what kind of room this is. This looks like a boss room to a degree. Or pe 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 possibly a mini boss room. I dropped really fucking hard just then. Right, I'm gonna shut up and let this guy introduce himself. Are you ready for the winged motherfucker? Aerophos, or whatever the fuck. The guy who flies a lot. It's really annoying. Not really. Still more engaging in than the gargoyles in Dark Souls 3. Now they're okay, I just hate that they fucking fly and they, they cease to be a fucking hitbox. Except for when they swing, of course, you know. It's fun to see spells go through them. Anyway, I, I'm, I'm gonna shut up about that. Watch him fly. As Crush 40 would have done. Oh, fuck. Boots off. I like your sword, though. It's a thick ass rapier. I don't mean that, like, thick as in me, like. But, I just thought it'd be cool if it was like, it wouldn't really be a frosting sword anymore. It's like a mini glance, actually. But it, I always thought it'd be cool if it's a frosting sword in a game, maybe similar to Souls. Or it's just like this big, thick piece of iron that's more like, I'm just gonna fucking drive this stake through you. Or it's just like a big metal stake. Not the stake driver, just like, you know, you fucking shoulder tackle them, then impale them. That'd be cool. So uncivilized, sir. So uncivilized. But still, it would be cool, wouldn't it? If you could brutally execute enemies in such a grotesque fashion. Hmm. One could call this lazy design. Ignore those people. This is fucking sick. Well, they just reused it. It's shit. No, this is fucking awesome. This is the sickest. Double claw shot. Man. It's awesome. So awesome, I can't figure out where the fuck I'm meant to go. Did I miss something? I tend to do that. Nope. Huh. I feel like I missed something. I feel like I should have been able to hit one of those from where I was. That's the weirdest part. Probably could. Oh, excuse me. No, I'm not even bloody tired. It's 12.30 in the afternoon. It's not even late. Yeah, that's what I missed. Knew it. Now we gotta get orientate ourselves. Orientate ourselves to a better locate advantage point turn link turn turn you motherfucker anyway let's try that again we can't no we can't Damn it. orientate yourself appropriately and don't fall oh jesus how his wrist looks i know it's the uh, claw shot but that looks like it fucking snapped but, yeah, I didn't, so that's, that's alright. A broken wrist. I was thinking, can, should this even work? 
based on how it's attached. Can hooks just rotate? I don't know. There we go. It was my fault, I didn't aim up high enough. Entirely my bad, I should have done better there. Sorry for wasting time. As opposed to what I normally do. Man, I was actually going nuts that last episode. Not all the cons not all the conspiracy stuff. No, that's totally true, yeah. No, no, I believe that shit. I didn't lean into it or anything or like, you know, exaggerate to make it funny. Or, sorry, attempt to make it funny. I don't think it actually probably was, but... That's low res as fuck, isn't it? But boy, I was going nuts when I thought I'd missed one. I'm probably cutting some of that and adding in some, like, horror footage. Um, you'll have seen the result of that before you see this. Unless you're watching this out of order, in which case, wow, you, you live on the edge. You're a true OG. Um, wow, we can reach that. Shit. Well, shit. Dude, you only got like 10 int. Nice. Where are we going? Where are we going? I'll just give someone motion sickness. Not really. I feel bad then. Um. Hmm. Feels like I've missed something. What am I forgetting? Oh yeah, that's right. Duh, I'm clever and I'm good at video games. Charge, forward, etc. Things that basically mean attack. This is nice, how you can just claw shot, we can... How you can Z target. That's what I meant to say. Remember, I'm good at video games, I'm good at speaking. Blah, blah, blah. I don't trip over my words nearly as much when I'm actually fucking working. Which is good. That's something someone in education shouldn't bloody do. I don't swear nearly as much either. I mean, I could try to pull myself up on it, but like, this is an M-rated game on a YouTube channel that has uploaded footage for, that have been entirely from games that are mostly, you know, for, for big boys, for adults. For big boys and girls, I should say. We're inclusive. Um, so, you know, the little Jimmy I taught several years ago finds this and goes, Mommy, it's that teacher, he's swearing while massacring a werewolf. I might call that, par you know, parenting, those parenting skills to attention. So uh, that's not on me. I don't think that's ever going to happen anyway, but hey, when it does, oh boy, this is going to be fun. Joke's on you, I'm still a relief teacher, you can't do shit. Joke's on me, I don't have a real job. Real talk, comrades, casual work sucks. We should see some means of production. Am I saying that it's a joke? Yes. Am I saying it's... But is there a tinge of seriousness to it? Maybe. Maybe there is. We're not going to explore this any deeper for the meantime. Because there'll be one person who gets obscenely triggered by that. The same people that would call me a snowflake. Funny that. You know what's even funnier? How I almost flew off the edge while talking politics. Good shit. Hey, p -Hat. you're coming with me. If I'm going down, I'm taking you with me. Really, is that, is that not the uh, analogy for cat capitalism, my friend? They drag us down with them. This is shit accent. Dots for done. is that it? Yeah. Niet, suka bleet, you know, all the, all the uh, famous Dota and Counter-Strike quotes. That's all the Russian I know. I remember that awesome Steam review I saw many years ago. It's like, Dota 2, it improved my Russian language skills. I mean, never had to deal with... Yeah, no, like, I'm pretty sure it was generally all English speakers for, um... When I was playing on, quote-unquote, Australian servers that aren't Australian, but hey. 
Even then. Eh. I think there are a lot of them. Um, it was probably Southeast Asia and all that. The oceanic countries, so... Well, if that's what they speak, that's what they speak. It's not their fault. Like, it's not my fault for speaking this dumbass language with so many stupid-ass rules. That will come up every LP, I'm sure. At least once. English fucking sucks, man. Really, when you think about it, are all teachers just... All English teachers just Hannibal going, Haha, this sucks, man. Maybe. I don't know. I don't watch Eric Andre, so you tell me. I just know there's a few funny bits that I've been shown. Oh, great. That worked well. And there's that great little bit that um, someone did. It was like, hey, Nemesis, look at me. Bitch. If that's gone according to plan, I should have used that for part one with the fucking case that I got murdered with. Because, boy... I was a predictable. As I am with making that joke. What the hell are you? Tall worm? Get out of here. Whoa, let's look at that again. Oh, yeah, look at that. Ow, her back. Where are her organs? <laughs> oh, that's stupid and petty. <laughs> oh. This is the pink male form, clearly. <laughs> Um, but yeah, wow, that didn't, whoa, that looked a little rough, didn't it, Link? Alright, I feel like, oh, yep, this is where I go. Hey, fuckers. Get good, casual. Can't even beat Gundir, ugh. Gundir did take me a second or two, though, not gonna lie. That was funny, the first time I played Dark Souls 3. Because I'm like, okay, why is this so fast? Okay, why am I getting my ass whooped? Okay, why is the pyromancer so fucking frail? I mean, it's not like he has that, you know, that much less health than the other classes, but... Yeah. Now I can just walk up and parry the son of a bitch. I'm... See, who's that phrase again? I don't know why. There we go, that's what I'm looking for. Filling for time with swear words. Do it, kids. Don't do it, kids. I mean, if you're a teenager, you know, it's more acceptable. If you're younger, probably don't. That's a secret. Kid, I understand you can swear. Don't do that at school. It's uh, better for everyone. Because you don't have to get in trouble. We don't have to deal with it. Your parents don't have to be called in. It's awesome. You also get an Uku stamp. I'm just envisioning, like... You know, one day, if, God forbid, I ever have my own classroom, I... Whoa, look at that fucking Yomi. Holy shit, read my inputs and everything. I'm um, just... Oh, holy shit, the Yomi on this fucking worm. I just love the idea of, like, stamping some kid's work with, like, an Uku stamp and they look at it like, Ugh, what is this? The fuck? <laughs> That'd be awesome. Get a custom-made Uku stamp just to troll children with. You know, you know what a great thing to say is while you're helping with, you know, whether it be teaching or doing, you, you know, like just, you're working with kids. Just saying get good. I mean, you give them actual advice afterwards, but I like saying get good. It's pretty funny. For me, for the kids, it's like, what? what? It's like, yeah, I know. It's useful, isn't it? Get good, small child. It's the only way you'll beat Gascoin. Who's Gascoin? Um, sorry, I mean Gasquang. I was saying his dub name. My bad. Oh yes, Gasquang. Yes. My favorite. Father Gasquang. Where? There. There. Oh, so we do this dance again. Piranha. Idiot. Ah, no, I haven't got a good insult. They shit look. You know, I should have used a girl boomerang right there, but I, lo and behold, I did not. So, uh, yeah. Hey, look, 20 arrows. Yeah, I needed them. Yeah. That will be useful, so I'm not gonna look a gift horse in the mouth. 
I don't know why you'd be looking at a, you know, a horse's mouth to begin with, unless you're uh, caring for a damn thing. That uh, those guys have chompers. Be careful. Do I have to go all the way back? Oh, because I missed it. Wait. I oh. Yeah, no, I have to, don't I? Oh, Christ, where? Eh. I feel like I fucked this up by not doing this sooner. I really do. Because, yeah, no, I definitely, I, I stuffed this up. Missing that was the uh, problem. Can I even get that from here? No, I can't. Oh, oh, well. Should have got good. I should have done that than that. Yeah. Meaning that. Over there. That thing. I showed it just to show I'm not going crazy. I mean, I am, but not in the same way as the last episode. Ha ha. Fly. Shit. Yes, this way. Ascend. Have I done this again? What? Oh, this is, this is that same stupid spot. Wait. What am I doing? Ow. I just have to drop. What am I doing? Holy shit. I spent so long in this room. I spent longer in this room than I've spent on some bosses. It's all for 20 arrows. You. Man. I don't think Uka can fly, but... This architecture, though. This architecture isn't very good. It's not structurally sound. Uh, it's gonna cost you a bit to fix it, man. Um, yeah, I, I don't know where I'm going with this. Hey, look at you! Look at all these friendly faces returneth. Just as if it was Dark Souls 3. Hey, guys, remember Onion Knights? I remember. If we've got to make fun of Star Wars for doing it, we've got to make fun of Dark Souls for doing it, alright? They've got to be fair. Headbutt any second one. You go away. You know what? Let's do this. Fuck. I've been trolled. You don't deserve that. I can't take this. Yeah, so this is why you get bombs. Ah, yes, look at that view. Oh, shit. Oh, come on, really? It's not my fault. Oh, Christ. Nice. We do it every night. It's a bummer. Bum 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 That won't trip copyright, will it? Hope not. Motorhead's cool, I don't know if people know this, but Motorhead's fucking rad. I tried to make Lemmy and Bloodborne once. I wasn't happy with it. Which sucks. You could be a boom hammer man, right? You know what, I think I've got the excuse to talk about Bloodborne because I actually played it on the channel. Dark Souls. You know, I should try to shut up about that until I actually fucking play it on the channel. Which will be like a 50 part fucking series. Good if I do, if I do DS2, that is gonna be a long fucking while. I mean, Bloodborne's meant to be the shortest of all the Souls. Inverted commas, Souls Born games. And, uh, yeah, I think it is. You know what? Yes, no, it definitely is. Come on. Come on. Show me what you got. Put them up. Show me what you got. Um. Ah, uh, just skip to it. Back to rise. Back to fly. Back to fly. Uh, wait, fuck. Back to rise. Back to war. Back to fly. Back to soar. Um. Let it be known. Wait, no, what is it? Fuck, I'm fucking, I'm fucking it up. One of the coolest songs I've heard in a game. But the truth. Wait. Back to fly, back to soar. Back to. I oh, know. Back to rise, back to something, back to fly, back to soar, back to war, let the truth be told. That's it. Nemesis feels on fire because he's fucking on fire. 
for the 20th billion time in this fucking series. <laughs> or in this game, I should say. That was the funniest part of, um... Of Remake 3. Not just him on fire, like, not at, not at him on fire, but yeah. Um... Like, not just that bit where... I should stand on this, come on. Really? Really? Come on. Wind Waker heard these mechanics? Oh, fuck. No keys. Go away. You bastard. Um, yeah, no. The Nemesis flailing on fire, falling into into the river was pretty fucking golden. But the fact that it had the secret, uh, secret, the secret, um, hidden, a sub story of Nemesis be trying to become a Lord of Cinder was pretty fucking awesome. I applaud them for being bold enough. I saw him, I had to fucking trigger him. I was trying to think of a statement that might actually trigger, but no. In a relatively inoffensive way. Again, like something about communism. Or capitalism. Yeah. All I'm saying, union, unions are good. Unions, let's try it again. Unions are good. That's what I'm saying. But that long ass comment on the Super Bunny Hop video that a lot of people liked, apparently, or at least it was like 30, so that's, that's good for me. <laughs> that's good numbers. So, yeah. That Bunny Hop video was pretty fucking awesome, though. Why the game industry should unionize, but no union's bad, though. Says person who has been conditioned, the comrade. You you have been told to accept unions are bad. It's a little stereotypical. I go with the uh, Russian accent, but uh, you see, there's a deeply entrenched cultural. Uh, uh, I don't know where I'm going with this, but what I'm trying to say is um, stereotypes. Am I right, kids? Haha. -ha. I mean, I saved that comment just in case I ever need to pull it up again. And the te I saved it in a fucking text file, and the text file is literally called Unions Are Good. G-U-D, of course. For maximum literacy. And, um, spelling ca capability. Okay, where do we go from here? As Mike Patton once asked in a song from The Real Thing. See, music references, we're back. Oh, fuck. That was close, actually. Camera's freaking out there, but, you know, that makes sense. That thing's fucking full. As opposed to the camera just freaking out normally. Dun, 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 wrong button. There we go. Hey. You. Prepare each shit. I don't think you saw me yet. Harry this. That's a joke I've never made in this series. Don't know if I made this episode yet. I mean, I did to some degree, but I just, I don't think I said it, you know, I don't think I literally said it the same. Literally in the sense that, um, it's literal, I don't, I don't, I don't fucking know where I'm going. I mean, I, don't, I know where I'm going. I don't know where I'm going with this stupid-ass fucking tangent I'm on. Um... Shit, probably talking about Souls again. Yeah, that hasn't got old. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, so, Dark Souls 3! No. No. We, we're gonna try not to. I mean, it's gonna come up. Literally my favorite game series in the fucking world. It's gonna come up. I'm sorry. And we're playing a game series that, I'm sure, no doubt, partly inspired it. There's probably an interview where it's confirmed, but yeah. We can't get over that wall. That's who we need. Give me you. There's a Poe over there by that tree. There he is, you see him. See there, motherfucker, we're gonna get him. We gonna get him good, Jimmy. I, I don't know who Jimmy is. I guess a stereotypical gangster. Jimmy the Squealer. Yeah, you can get me. Yeah. Yeah, sweet. Yeah. Holy crap. 
I don't know if that's meant to be a good Peter Griffin or a shit Peter Griffin. Uh oh. I descend. Sup, dudes. I care you can see my shadow in the P hat shadow. It's nice. It's nice. Can we get these wall tools without fucking clinging to the wall? Gotcha. <laughs> I feel proud of that. I don't know why I feel so proud, but I do. Because if I had to fucked it up, well, 30 seconds would have been wasted getting back there. Transform! Come on. Come on, you. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Give Good shit. Gotcha, buddy. We're nearing the end of his dungeon, which is nice. Because you see, uh, uh, yeah, G. My favorite letter. It's not. I don't know if I have a favorite letter, to be quite honest. It's a childish question, like when you'd ask someone, what's your favorite color? Yeah. There's some truth to that statement, but fuck people that think they're better just because they think it's childish. Dragon. Dragon, cool, look at it fly, yeah. Dragon. Dragons are cool. I mean, they are, but I'm kind of playing it up to be dumb. Good, yeah. yeah, they are a little overused. Uh, just, just a fraction, but yeah. Hey, bitch. Yo, what's poppin'? What's poppin', G? Um, what you doing? Hey, friend, hey, friend, hey, friend. Guess what? I'm trolling you from the sky. Ah, oh, shit. Hey, guess what? Yeah, what you gonna do about it? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? Come on, let's sunlock you to the cliff. Let's go, let's go. Come on, we can do this. Brava! It's not over yet. It is over now, though. <laughs> oh, that was so fucking mean of me, but boy, that worked amazingly. What's up, dude? Moto Drone. Yomi. Subarashi Helma Sochan. Ah, Subarashi. I see you know your judo well. I don't know the exact video or the exact title to tell you to look up, but there's that Australian guy who is apparently uh, a Hungarian national um, being removed by police. Um, oh, yeah, I meant to do that. Fuck, I went down for no reason. Um, being removed from a restaurant, I, you know, he was in search of, to quote, a succulent Chinese meal, and he was being, um, well, you know, taken away by the police, for reasons. Apparently not, he was taken away for the wrong reasons, but, oh, Jesus Christ. I'm not stopping it. This is quality, oh, oh I'm trying to stop, Jesus, oh. I tried to get out though. Oh, oh, that was awful. Um, yes. Sorry, there was a, um, a gentleman attempting to have what he would call a succulent Chinese meal. Um, while being taken away by the cops. As he said, as he, to quote him, Ladies and gentlemen, this is democracy manifest. And then he proceeded to yell at the police officer to, to get his hand off his penis. What a dignified way to get into a cop car. <laughs> Australia, am I right? <laughs> Australia. This is not worth it, I'm sure. This was not worth it. Link's face is like... Mm -hmm. No, I want to aim at the P-hat, not you fucks. Come on, fucking gyro. Oh, well, guess we're getting... Hey, well, buddy, guess we're getting chill. Yeah, look at you. Yeah, look at you. Yeah. Hey, look at you, chuckle nuts. Yeah, you can't touch me. Yeah. Yeah, if I snap your neck, don't screw. Yeah. Hey, look at you. you. Look at you. I'm filling for time. I'm still filling for time. Come on. Hey, this is getting a little long and two. Just hold on. Just hold on. Three, two, one, eight. There's my right. Let's go. Ah, shit. Z target. Am I right, kids? 
See you later. Fuckers. There, I said the line. Save a line, Bart. Save a line, Bart? Is save a line, Bart, at this point, too. For my channel, at least. Sparta. Yay! That was a shitty yay. Oh. Oh, that was awful. Fuck. God damn. Hey, let's do this. This is awesome. But at least they screw you when we do this. Even though it would have actually been faster to do it the other way. I should just lock on now. I should just lock on. I should just lock on! You are dead. You didn't use an ink ribbon for like an hour. Better go back. Old video games were so brutal. Am I right, Epic Gamers? Kids these days don't understand. I mean, they don't, and you know what? Well, sometimes for good reason. Sometimes for good reason. I don't really have a problem with the newer RE, you know, style, the new style RE games not having ink ribbons, because, well. Yeah, they, they made them a lot tougher for sure. I know that's part of the experience, but, like, I don't. Okay, I'm trying to think about it, how to articulate this because I might be walking myself into a huge trap. It's kind of like the difficulty in Dark Souls argument where I personally think like I understand the need for an you know well, yeah need for an easy mode in the context of yes people that might be differently abled and not you know might be in this you know they might just not have the same physical capabilities as quote-unquote, most people. Um, so, you know, accommodating them's good. Like, I think that's a net good. In the case of something like Dark Souls, I personally think, like, just lowering the difficulty wouldn't do anything. It kind of ruins it, because it's better if you get the sense of accomplishment, but at the same time, if they can never do it, because they physically can't, well, that is kind of shitty. But it's, yeah, I don't know. I mean... Some guy cheats, like that journalist who's like, yeah, I used easy mode in mod in Sekiro. Like, yeah, okay, well, guy did it just to troll you, so we should have just all fucking ignored him. I certainly did. But, I don't know if I'm walking myself into a trap here. point I'm trying to make is something like Dark Souls, I think it'd be fine if it was in easy mode. I think it deprives some of the accomplishment from beating a tough part. If anything, like, I, I'm also value the old games being, like, the, you know, the old games that aren't even that fucking old. Ah, oh, shit. Gotta be a wolf, that's right. Oh, look, see, wolf does get used. Um, you know, like, beating a tough area, like, you know, beating Undead Berg and Taurus Demon is a pretty big accomplishment for someone just playing it for the first time. If it was that tough, it wouldn't feel the same, but, yeah, you know, if they can't do it, they can't do it. So, easy mode, fine. Acceptable. RE is, I think, almost a little different, but you could make a similar argument where, well, it's part of it. It's part of the core challenge of the games. Which, yeah, no, no, you're right, it is. But I don't know, like, is it the most important part? Probably not. I mean, ma ammo management, if anything. But at the same time, I've just realized, you've got the problem of, uh, autosave might just fuck you in terms of ammo. I auto saves before a boss and you didn't make manual saves? Well, I mean, most, you know, all the new games have the thing where it's like, you can't, you know, the game won't let you have, um, too little ammo. Which I think is a good concession, but I can understand why people would be so against this. Hypothetical, I've spent too long discussing. What I'm saying is, ink ribbons, eh, I don't mind it. It's nice they put them back in. Yeah, I don't, I don't know where to go from this, to be quite honest. I'm not a game designer. It'd be nice if I was, but at the same time, maybe some of my ideas aren't great. But yeah. That was the weirdest part, though, hearing about that Mario Kart, um, that Mario Kart mode fuck. I'm spending too long in this room. Um, where, for Mario Kart 8 for the Switch, yeah, it would have been the Switch version, where they put in the easy... Well, like the easy, easy mode for how to drive a car. Well, it doesn't doesn't make the game easier. It makes it easier for you to drive, like auto piloting to a degree. 
which objectively is shittier anyway because it's not very good so that's fine like I think it's a bit dumb to get worked up about that kind of stuff because it's like it's just enabling people that couldn't play to play but I don't know fucking god damn it I'm getting too deep into this Well, like, the more I spend time thinking about it, and we're about to finish talking about this, like, I'm kind of, I've been thinking, like, I don't know if games can ever truly be totally inclusive of everyone. Not like, oh, you know, uh, the stupid gatekeeping shit, none of that crap. Not, not, um, implying none of the accusations of it, and none of the actual gatekeeping. But, like, I don't know if it's actually doable to accommodate everyone. I'm going the wrong way to get the Poe, aren't I? I'm going the wrong way to get the po. Fuck, I'm going to have to jump down anyway. I didn't mean to, I meant to... <laughs> I meant to actually just go ahead, do it, and... Because you end up coming back through anyway, so... You can take the low door. God damn it, I'm dumb. I'm, I'm doing this amazingly, but yeah, no. Nah. Would say it worries me, but like, when I think about it, I don't know how feasible it is... Because, like, you'd have, every dev would have to, have to accommodate it. Every console would have to accommodate it. I just don't know how feasible it is. Which sucks. There's probably people that know way better than, no, we're not going down. There's people that know this way better than me that can explain this and tell me why I don't need to worry about that shit. But, I just get the impression it's never going to be possible. Which sucks. But hey, anyway, on to uh, less, I, I wouldn't say philosophic, because that wasn't really philosophic. On to uh, more normal discussions. Hey, bitch, ghost, let's go. Yo, 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 yo. I've seen Indigo Prophecy. I know what you do. I've seen you in apartments. Throwing Lucas Kane's whole apartment, apartment at him. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, shit, the phone. See, I made a reference. Haha, <laughs> back to lightheartedness. Yeah. <laughs> oh, back to this shit. Zed. I like how that whole discussion was basically, uh, I don't know about Encrypted and Resident Evil to be, you know, accommodating for every type of, well, I'll, I'll just say it like the most plain way possible, a uh, disability. It's not the way I'd like to phrase it, but I'm just phrasing it as such for convenience. There's more apt ways I could phrase it, uh, more academic ways that I learned in uni, but I'm just saying it off the top of my head, so fuck it. And I wasn't one of those socialist, leftist universities that are corrupting the minds of young capitalists, none of that shit. No. That said, I, I could recommend an excellent textbook that tells you about why private schools are shit in terms of what they do to the schooling system. Well, I can recommend that stuff very easily. Because it's the truth. <gasps> Controversial. No, not really. Fuck it. I won't go into the politics of schooling. I could, though. I could, but I won't. I know why I had to add that, but I did. Um, put on boots in case. We've gone too deep in this episode. I can make another Plinket quote, but I think I've done enough of that today. Something about a deep analysis, but the way you word it and say it is a little different. As if to make a sex joke. Just say it. Oh. I don't like he just got. Oh. It's you. Fix my shit. This is a shit Plinket anyway. I I'm, I'm not in touch with the old, the same way Mike is. Nice. It's gonna be great, it's gonna be great. I'm gonna miss this. It's gonna be great. It's great. I'm gonna get the boss key. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. We live in the dream.
I do wonder, is it ever worth trying to get like a discount copy of NBA, um, NBA 2K16 just to show my friends that fucking story mode? I mean, I could just point them to an LP, but they'll be like, eh, no. Those best friend guys, I don't know about that. Man. Just, it's not as bad, like... I don't know. I, I, I don't want to come across too harsh, but that was an interesting career mode. Oh, many ups and downs. Um, discussions about classism, but not really. Um, trying to make social commentary. Um, except kind of poorly. Respect your friends, even though they did terrible shit to you consecutive, you know, constantly <laughs> without fail. Potentially fucking over your life in the process. Eh, I don't know what you're trying to say, Spike Lee. I mean, I can respect your work and all that, but I don't know about that one. It feels like a bit of a miss, because Vic was a shit. Any other character probably would have worked. Vic was a fucking shit. Don was, Don was a decent character, and that's it. <laughs> Truly the saving grace of the NBA 2K cinematic universe. Parry this. See, he made the same joke. Yeah. Seize the means of productions, comrade. Yeah. We're going deeper into the Matrix, I guess, or something. I don't know. Or if I really wanted to piss people off, I could say something about Elon, that would fucking do it. Okay, I did trigger it, right? N not the viewers, I mean, I triggered the fans, right? If not, I can always get back up, I know how to. Did I forget? I did not do it. Nice. There's that thing I missed. Yes, no. I definitely missed it. Let's have a look. Because I know how to get back up. Just, yep, on a bat pillar. So we need to approach. Oh, you're approaching me, says the pillar. Yes, so I can claw shot you properly. I don't know how to save the line in Japanese, so, yeah. And this Jojo's gone on for long enough. So no chi no sadame. There you go. Apathetic Jojo quotes in my videos. Yeah. Oh. I'm trying to think of a Jojo reference to go with that, but. Yeah, something from part six, because I can't do part five anymore. Six or seven. Because people actually know part five now. Oh, it's the. Oh, that's all I. Yeah, that's all I had to fucking do, isn't it? Duh. It's that. I totally forgot. Holy shit. It's so easy. As Eagles of Death Metal would say. Or the Pigeons of Shit Metal, as Axel Rose called them. See, more lighthearted stuff. I'm making the references. That's what people want in their videos, right? Or Fortnite V-Bucks giveaway. Which we will not be doing. I'm sorry to disappoint anyone that held out this long thinking I was going to do a V-Bucks giveaway. Um, on part 13, at least, on my recordings of this Twilight Princess LP. Of a game that's four years old. That is a remaster of a game that's even fucking older. So. I, I don't know what you expect. If you have a... Oh, Jesus Christ. Right, we can't do that now, can we? Oh. There are no Counter-Strike skins either, I'm sorry. I'm not actually. I haven't played Counter-Strike for years. I was never very good at it. It's much better at Dota. But even then. All you have to do, Valve, is tell me you'll sunset it and give me some assurance that the game will continue on in some capacity. And I'd play it again, probably. That's a lie, I've been out too long. <laughs> too much has changed. I still watch Purge's patch update, just, you know, every once in a while to see. Still gotta watch the Weather Man. Aw oh, yeah, come on. 
What are we what are we doing here? We're waiting, we're waiting. Yep. Yep. Oh shit, gyro, gyro. Fuck. There we go. Oh, phew, I had a panic attack there. Not really. But I was getting a little panicked. I didn't want to have to go for another fucking rotation. Hey look, chest. Is it a heart or is it a rupee? We'll pretend it was a heart. We'll pretend. We can make believe. Hey, it's like that fucking cliff that, um, that area that's not in a game that has the initials DS2. <laughs> not in a game that has anything to do with souls. No, no, it's not that area. <laughs> ah, I'm not talking about that franchise for the rest of this video. This is the part where I'm meant to crack immediately, but I'm going to actually try to hold off. It's not my fault it's so fucking good. You can't convince me to play Skyrim. Don't try. <laughs> oh, we got the two-on-one fight now. Come on. The rival battle, if you will. Not quite. It's when the recurring enemy, it's when that recurring enemy comes back, where you reuse a boss, and then the second, slightly differently colored one comes in. I'm not just referring to, like, Guardian 8. See, Sekiro's not souls. Checkmate. Oh, battle action. I don't know. Would that annoy someone? Sekiro isn't, Sekiro isn't souls anyway. It's souls, it's similar too. It uses the same mechanic, probably similar engine, but it's definitely not souls. Mind Zelda, in a weird way. It's like not, it's closer to Souls inherently because it's made by fucking FromSoft. But I would argue it's definitely closer. Oh yeah, Helm Splitter. Nice. I'd argue it's definitely closer to like an older or adventure, action adventure game like this. Then it is just, oh, it's Souls because FromSoft made it. See, I can reference it in regards to another franchise. I'm stopping myself from talking about it otherwise. That's my anti-drug. Talking around the series I love so much. I'm gonna go play it. I'm gonna go play it when I'm done. I'm sorry. You can't stop me though. I started, an, I started another character, Doctor. I've got a problem. Okay, what was it? It was a Hexer in Dark Souls 2. My god, you need treatment right now. I'm gonna use the Pilgrim Spawn Tune. Oh, Jesus Christ, get him out of here, get him out of here! So <laughs> my fault, I played Cinders and now I'm like, oh yeah, Pilgrim Spawn Tune looks pretty cool, I'm gonna try that. Maze of the Insolent too. Sanctum Shield? Oh yeah, yeah, that's acceptable, that one's actually good. Oh. Yeah. Enjoy. Enjoy that camera, baby. Look at that face. Look at how determined he is. He doesn't quite have the uh, Skyward Sword lips, so it's not as uh, funny. Link trying to look tough and intimidating. Damn you. Confound you! I can't do the Dr. Claw voice, but if I could, I would say, I'll get you next time, Gadget. I can do a shitty one, but, you know. Where you get the voice real low, and you know, you do the... <laughs> the that. But, that's shit. I recognize that. That is, that's Cookie Monster. Isn't it funny? Metal sounds like Cookie Monster. Yeah, that's a joke that's fucking 12 years old, bare minimum. Good job, you figured it out. You death metal singers sound like gibberish to some people. Yes, you you did it. Good work. Me creating a, someone who's not real to kind of get mad at, but not really. That's healthy. That's making a straw man for yourself to get mad at for no reason other than you want to get mad. Really. I'm not a self-help person, so don't listen to me. I'm saying this all very much tongue-in-cheek. You son of a bitch. Dylan, you son of a bitch. I should have just waited. I 
think I referenced that video, but that old, old one someone made many moons ago. Like 12 years ago, if not longer. Where there's that scene in Predator that I just referenced. And they do the handshake. And then scenes of destruction unfold. It's a classic, goddammit. It's a classic. Pretty sure they threw in the um, they threw in the Independence Day footage as well. You know the bit where everyone's dying and the bomb go you know well not bomb the laser hits and you know the CIA's got doing you know pushing too many pencils so you know I'm not I'm not actually very into Predator or anything not like in a bad way. Cool movie and all that, but uh, I wouldn't say I'm a diehard fan. I know, yeah, I've got a couple. I've got at least one mate who definitely loves that stuff. Everyone like tangent, tangentially. Everyone you know does like it, though, but I know pretty much everyone I associate with goes, yeah, pretty fucking awesome, which is nice. Means you're in good company. You know, it's like that stupid, I'm making, I'm referring to fucking meme after I've railed against meme this whole fucking episode. While simultaneously making several, I guess. Um, but that picture of like, well, you know, you can have the same handshake from, you know, between Arnie and guy whose name I don't actually know as an actor. <laughs> and you have like Aliens fans, Predator fans, and then they handshake. Because, you know... Bear in agreement and Eunice. Hey, a dragon! That'll stop this shit joke. Let's fucking go, man. Maybe I should talk about Zelda. Um, so you see, there's timelines, and that's about where I give up. Um, that was my talk on Zelda lore. I'm gonna fight this cool dragon now. Excuse me. Um, because it's cool, not because, um, well, you see, in the battle, uh, if Agarok, if Twi Link loses to Agarok, um, that, that'll create the new Zelda for the next Nintendo console. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I'm going with. Um, if Link gets eaten by Morphe, and depending on if he comes out like Boba Fett, or if he gets digested, that'll lead to two different spin-off games. Um, one made by Tecmo Koei, one made by Nintendo themselves, um, Another is an indie fan project that was cancelled. Um, it was going to be very cool. Because the timeline would split into like 20 billion ways. Oh, it, no, it doesn't play as well as this old game, but I, it, just, it advances the timeline. That's what people care about, right? Yeah, yeah, timelines, yeah, yeah, yeah. I wouldn't care about Souls War for gameplay with shit, to be quite honest. So, you know, there you go. Fromsoft got me caring about lore. See, I gave up. I'm just referring to Dark Souls by name because fuck you. Me, not you, the viewer, me, for setting myself this dumb challenge. I like, look, I know it's probably annoying for they go Dark Souls. Well, you Dark Souls every episode, but it's gonna happen. I'm sorry. They're good. You could make the argument that this boss is kind of nothing. And, yeah. I mean, I guess. But it's cool. And it's using the mechanics, you know, previously established in the dungeon, so... And you get to do that sixth stab at the end, but I'm gonna do, damn it. Yeah. Feels cool with the armor on the board. It does look creepy, I don't... I don't even know if it has eyes. I think it does. If, what am I saying? Agarok. I'll, I'll label it appropriately. I'll give it that much respect. But yeah, um, next, like, next to the Water Temple, this is the dungeon I always take the longest on. Because, like, yeah, I'll forget a thing or two, but it is... I'd say this is the longest, actually. It's just Water Temple... Yeah, Water Temple in Zelda might have a history for being complicated. I don't, is the ancient system complicated? I don't remember. It's, it's a lot of fucking fun, though. That's one of the best Zelda dungeons ever, in my opinion. Well, Skyward Sword did something good. That's controversy. No, but Ego Raptor told me it was bad. Ah, that's a straw man, though. 
That's it. That that's annoying. Like, I get it. You know, people are entitled to opinions. You know, and someone like Aaron's allowed to hear. Like I said, there. Right? I don't know. Someone like Ego Raptor's allowed to make the video, and I know Pro Jared uh, mm -hmm. made that video of that adventure too. And it's like, that's fine. They're allowed to. It's the people that parrot the view without understanding it. That'd be annoying part. Like, if they dislike the game, that's cool. It's all those idiots that fucking parrot out afterwards. Is this being kind of elitist to a degree? Yeah, potentially. But at the same time, it's like, dude, just construct your own opinion. Don't parrot them. You can do it. You've got the capacity to do so. I'm sure you're intelligent enough. With enough um, cognitive ability. You can do it. Don't just hear adventure games of shit. Play them to tell me they're shit. I'd rather you play them so you can make that point. <laughs> ah, this isn't as upset as it might sound, believe it or not. I just want people to actually fucking play Skyward Sword. So they can... Well, I know, people did and they have problems, which is fine. I'm just sick of people railing it for reasons that... Yeah, I can't be BS. Yes, the tutorial's long, fair point. Yes, the, c the controls aren't for everyone. True. Yes, some people had control problems. True. Thankfully, I really do. Like, the only time I actually had control issues in Skyward Sword, guess what? The fucking recalibration solved it immediately. Which is awesome. Obviously, it didn't for everyone. Which is disappointing. There's one more, right? Yeah, there's one more. This isn't finished. But no, there's a lot of good in Skyward Sword. There is a lot of good in that game. I will die on that mountain. <laughs> but I really think I shouldn't have to die on it. You'd think, but uh... Internet says otherwise. The same... Well, actually, no, not the same internet. It was a different time. Back when people were like, Oh, Wind Waker, ew, you so cheated. That's before I even fucking really used the internet. That's before I actually had internet. But yeah. What I'm trying to make is construct your own opinions, guys. Come on, you can do it. You're smart enough, surely. That's not meant to be like a backhanded compliment or insult. That's just meant to be, no, you guys can do it. Surely. And you have the capacity to. to I'll try that again. If you have the capacity to do it and you don't, well, now you're being a dumbass. And then I'll call you out on it, you fuck. <laughs> I was only pretending to have heard, you know. I was only pretending to be part of the herd. I'm phrasing that, you know, so I don't use the old format of that joke. But that old format is still true. I was only pretending to be that stereotype of people that might be a little differently able. There we go, that's a better way of phrasing it. Holy shit! What the hell happened there? Oh, guess I triggered the dragon's guy. Ha ha ha, look at that, leftist cuck dragon. <laughs> That was for myself, that dumb joke. I guess it's inventing in a way, but yeah. I don't fucking know what I'm going on about at this point. I'm just trying to kill this dragon. Yeah, I'm just trying to... I'm just standing here trying to kill this dragon and, uh... Yeah. Well, them leftists, they ain't let me. You just know how it is. They, they, they just ain't. I really don't know where I'm going with this. I honestly don't know where I'm going with this. I feel I feel like I had way more to talk about in Bloodborne and Resident Evil. I mean, Resident Evil was short, thankfully. And I had enough Resident Evil knowledge, I'm going to roll away. Ah, oh, fuck it, let's lean into it and yeah! Metal. I had enough Resident Evil knowledge to go on about it. I don't care if that's the Zelda timeline. You yeah, know, you might have heard me say that, but um... So I've got way less to talk about, so then I start ranting like this, um, which I know some people like, in other videos, probably not mine, but yeah, they're here for like the, you know, to, to be that kind of crowd yelling, play free bird, which in this case is make an actual change in you, in which case, yeah, you're right, I should be. <laughs> no one's actually done that, though, but I would say they are totally within their rights to do so. Anyway, this boss fight, I'm fucking it up. I don't know why. 
I'm legitimately trying though, so it can't be for nothing. It's not in the end or anything like that. It's not all falling apart. I'm leaning on my crutch of making a reference. Um, I will lean on that crutch to the day I die. Because that is my humour, apparently. Someone can psychoanalyze that and tell me if reference humour is valid or not. And that if people like me who find it enjoyable are dumb. Because maybe we are. I don't know. I will not be belittled, though, for some arbitrary reason. Alright, I don't know why I adopt an American accent. A very stereotypical one. I'm going... Oh, no! Ah! Yomi! See, we're back there. I made the reference again. Yomi. The art of reading the mind of a woolly. We are going the wrong way. Agarok, you shit. This is a little clunky, though. Like, by modern standards. Back then, this is fine, like. It'd be a lot more smooth nowadays. But a post Spider Man 2018? Yeah, is it? Yeah, 2018 World? Yeah. I didn't do the finish. This whole episode is for nothing. I've got to delete it. I've got to start this again, clearly. No, that's suicide. I'm not fucking doing that. Fly, dragon, fly! You got gat. Just need go to. Um, a goth to launch an arrow at him. Ha uh ha! -huh. Bat grounded the winged bat. That's a shit go. He has much to say. There's not much to talk about, really. I'm blind as fuck because people poured sap in my helmet. That's the law. I don't know how many spin-offs this will spawn. You know, I definitely need a co-pilot on these LPs <laughs> to keep me in check. I think I've made the joke before, but this is like St. Riot's stream of consciousness invasions, except more neurotic. I mean, I'm saying that after the fact, but like, those, those are old, but those were good videos. I watched them all well after the fact. That man is good at invading. What a guy. And we out. Um, chicken dungeon done. I made that fight look a lot less cool than it should have. I'm sorry. <laughs> yes, we will save. I'm thinking of uh, saving over this, but I'm going to keep it. Just cards. Not because I'm going to secretly replay. You guys, are, you guys are seeing this. I can't undo that stuff. I don't have Mr. Snip Snip. And even if I did, I can't snip snip what's been recorded. Because, um, there'll be no audio over a boss fight. <laughs> so, uh, it'll be quite obvious. I mean, it could, I could overdub it, but yeah. If you're still here and I don't know why, I think you're used to this shit. Anyway, we're gone. The Machina take us back to the surface. Brother. I don't know. Happy fireworks. Boom, yeah? Something like that. Thank you, Jake for dog. That did hurt. I'm just saying. Um, that would destroy Link's bones. Um, I don't care if it's a fantasy video game. Um, put the sin counter up by one. <laughs> Oh yeah, no, I'm ending this now. Fucking, I'm going off for rails. Help. It's getting worse the longer this goes on. I can do that at least, so. Ah, he's sticking around with me for like five more seconds. Sorry. I wouldn't say I'm getting nervous about the series now, but like every day I'm starting to think, hmm, am I going to share this? <laughs> this is getting more deranged the longer it goes on. Um, huh, I guess this is on the interior, there's no crocodile or alligator though, there is however a movie theater in a different game, in Persona apparently, so um, yeah references, that's, uh, that's, that's what I got, put them up, show me what you got, back to Rise, um, I made this joke. 
but, um, hell. Um, how about that heavy metal? Yeah, yeah, that's, uh, that's a thing I like. Um, what the hell am I doing here? I'm trying to climb the wall. My god, I'm like a Skyrim horse. Horse armor here, am I right, guys? Ha ha ha. Yeah. Where do I go? <laughs> Help. Help. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, this is bad. Am I meant to... What? Help. Okay, so we figured this out. Um, this, 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 out. Oh. This is getting more deranged it goes, the longer it goes on, for fuck's sake. I'm losing it. Twilight Princess was a mistake, I shouldn't have played it. I should have just stuck to doing the other videos. I shouldn't have tried a Zelda game. It, this was a mistake, clearly. I'm losing it. Should have played Wind Waker instead. <laughs> maybe I should have. Maybe I should have played Wind Waker. Maybe I wouldn't have gone less crazy. Nice. Something I don't need. Uh, how do I get the one outside again? That's the real question. Does this lead to outside? No, at least with chest though. Good thing we will transform the second I touch it. Okay, what is it? Heart? 